Green Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 Episode 8 of Asteroid and Love. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I miss the show. Even though we had an episode last week and I was gone for like two days and I just got back yesterday, it just feels so weird to just like, ugh. It feels like I've been gone for like a week, even though it was only two days. But still, two days is like, Three years of YouTuber <laughs> and a YouTuber. <laughs> you never truly know. I mean, but still, it was nice to go on a mini little vacation, and I'm technically doing something else tomorrow too. So I'm gonna be busy as hell tomorrow, and I'm missing three shows tomorrow as well. I'm going out and chilling with some people. <laughs> I am trying to freaking play the Kid of Fantasy game, but the weirdest thing is, like, it updated. And it won't let me freaking load the whole freaking thing out. And it's just, ugh. I'll try again after I watch this episode. Baby, <laughs> you look so cute. Oh, my God. So, is this literally going to be the whole episode with Eno? I mean, 10 out of 10, right then and there.
Did you not know that? I guess not. <laughs> Because of those two. <laughs> Maybe just give it a lucky guess. so much. Mm. Oh, okay. These are like, oh my god. Oh my God. <laughs> You just need a little more practice, babe. It takes time to, you know, hold it steady and then click. <laughs> Christmas and what? Not even springtime. We still in winter. <laughs> so I can't even know. There is no word for spring slash winter. Sprinter. <laughs>
see, I immediately thought that the, the portable stove that they had, which is ones that you didn't really have to plug in, but no, you have to plug in almost anything. I think the ones that like uh, Tasty uses, you don't have to do that. There are some that are like that, but the challenge. <laughs> You know she's gonna get this one. Cool. <laughs> right. I know it is. Oh. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> they like spicy things. Sure. <laughs> she is just it's spicy. It depends on the person, though. Not everybody likes spicy things. Me, I love spicy things. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. Don't make me cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry today. I cried last night. Uh. Oh well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
I know. <laughs> Get off track not once but twice. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were supposed to say it to yourself, though. Sorry, my mom's playing music. <laughs> Oh. So that's why you were crying. You just gave me canon feels and I don't like it. Why you do this to me with this episode? Like, oh my god. No way. Of course. No. You gotta be positive about this. You think of something. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, Zuzu. Because she may not always have the money, and then you know, who knows how much it can always like usually cost. Like one day it could be expensive as hell. Because I'll take care for you. Get a friend. That's her. Ha <laughs> ha!
a good question. Are you afraid of telling them how you truly feel? That's usually true, but you never know. Don't take no for an answer. Can you just imagine these two living together? Oh my god. Girlfriend. And who knows? Al's parents might say yes. I mean, typically, we've already seen, um, we've seen Al's mom meet Mira's, um, mom and dad. So, it really just depends on the meeting and them talking and getting to know each other a little bit more. But I feel like she'll say yes. I think they'll be fine with it. But the fact that Misa is going to a Disney university and she'll be on her own, I think it's a really interesting idea. And I hope, hope and pray, fingers crossed, <laughs> pray to the gods. But it works because these two, you know, they met as kids and then... To come back together as teenagers, like, that's destiny in a way. Something else brought, well, ever since I was a one, their love for just everything about this show is what brought them together. And I just want them to stay together. It would feel weird if Al wasn't in the show anymore or if Mira wasn't in the show anymore. I mean, it just felt like something would miss, like, so freaking much. And even if they were just, like, a phone call away a train away, whatever. I mean, girl, like, that's like, best friends, girlfriends, my God, Jesus, because I, I can't even imagine, like, Mina was somewhat depressed in this episode. It kind of just reminded me of how, when I was watching the second season of K-On, and the fact is, like, closer and closer every single episode, um, the, uh, the seniors are graduating and they were going to leave my best girl Azanyan by herself. And I was just like, oh my God, I really don't want this because she'll be on her own. And it's typically like that, especially when you have a friend and you've grown up with that friend for such a long time. And then you find out from your parents that you are moving and you've been friends with someone since kindergarten. And you've had that like really good relationship that you not only consider them your best friend, you consider them, like, a member of your family and such. And then you have, like, this argument before you leave, but then you still make up and stuff. And then you see each other for, like, the first time in years. Uh, 2000, 2008, 2009 was when I saw my best friend. Um, and it's like nothing's changed and stuff, but everything has. And then it's just so much. And then when you officially move back into the same state in town where she lives and you're just so happy to see them again and everything, it just feels like all is right in the world. And I mean, I'm glad that like if it happens and if these two move in together, it's going to be really good for them. They'll be able to see each other 24-7. There, there might be some days where these two might get sick of each other. I mean, A, they a couple in a nutshell. I mean, if you don't ship them, like, I mean, come on. We're eight episodes and going on nine next week. And you know they're gay for each other. We all freaking know they fucking girlfriends at the end of the damn day. I mean, come on now. Like, mm. 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 But like the first half of this episode, having my baby, you know, like to be the center of attention. I mean, she's a couple of times she has in this whole series, even though we're not done with it yet. But to see her, you know step up and everything. I really enjoyed that. I mean, this girl, because of the fact is with Sakura and how Sakura was the president of their club and uh, what's your face is the president of the other club. And the fact is that they're both leaving and Eno is going to be following in their footsteps and how she has to do things on her own and think about it on her own. And even though she has the help of Ao and Mirai, she still has to do stuff on her own at the end of the day. She's the one that makes the final decisions on 
everything. So, I mean, yeah, it, it is a little tough. I really love seeing the exam portion of it, even though there were some questions that she did amazing on, and then there are ones that are struggled. She struggled. We've all been there, whether it's in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, whatever. If you're taking an exam for something, a multiple question quiz or online or whatever, and you're just like, oh my God, I don't know. And then you panic. Everyone's had that moment and you're just sitting here like, oh my God, oh my God, yes. Just so adorable, oh my God. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode eight of Asteroid and Love. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for episode nine. Bye, guys.